Hello guys, today is the 6th of February 2021, as you can see over here. Um, the AI software has been rocking the last um, couple of uh, weeks. Um, so I prepared it uh, not only for football, but um, here you can see basketball. So we have also NCAA, NBA and EuroLeague that we follow. And for the hockey, we follow uh, NHL, the Russian uh, KHL, and the Swedish SHL. So um, let's see a bit um, the football picks over here. So today we have six. So I this is the interface that I'm talking about. So in the future, I'm going to speak about it, how you can fix it. But for now, let's say that you have um, queries that you have uh, all your results in here and um, here is how you filter your pick so I create a column over here I call it picks or for me it's UBM and um, as you can see over here I have uh, a filter command over here I have a formula um, which I um, so I have a formula over here uh, that I say if um, this AI home percentage, so if this one is bigger than what I have over here, I3, so if this one is bigger than 55%, and you see with this end over here, and the home modes are bigger than what I have over here, and again, the home modes are smaller than what I have over here. Then write pick home team. Um, or uh, if um, the draw over here is bigger than this draw over here. And you understand how, how it works. So I have a column that I filter the rest of the columns. And um, so this is... Um, the slicer that I have in here, which is the same, like going in here and clicking. And um, you can say I want all the matches. And the ones that fulfill the filters that you have already given, it gives you, it writes pick A, draw, or whatever. So here are my picks according to what I need uh, for my system to work. So let's go and check today's results. Today it's Sunday, eh, Saturday, and you can see over here um, I have sorted this column. So it starts from the, the first one and then you continue. And uh, so the first match is from the Germany uh, Bundesliga 2, right? Braunschweig against Hanover. And you can see that the software tells me that the away team will win 78%. Uh, so you can see over here that I have 7,273 um, matches um, as a training. <clears throat> and um, uh, from those matches, I have picked 405 matches, uh, the home team to win, and I have 65%. So that means 264 wins and 141 losses. Uh, while uh, when it tells me to pick the away team, I have 74% winning percentage. Um, for my system to work, I need 65. This is what I want, so it works more than enough. Uh, but if I see that in any um, time uh, it's, over, it's lower than 65, I come here and either I, I change the filters a bit, I made it 60. And you can see it's immediately less peaks, but bigger uh, hit rate but 55 for now it's okay so let's see um, Hanover it tells us uh, Hanover, Hanover will win um, the odds from the bookmaker from the average bookmaker is 182 for now and uh, it gives us 58 percent it's over 55 that we we say here this one the away team to win and um, so why is this 58 percent for the away team to win if we go here, here are um, the ranking percentages. So 
uh, you see that this is the home team over here and this is the away team so um, you see that the home team um, is like one of the worst teams in winning percentage uh, it doesn't score at all this is goal for this is goal against so very bad at this and their margin generally it's very bad uh, and the away team is very very good team if you compare it to the average of their league um, so it judges that from those numbers and some other numbers that I have in the AI software it judges that um, the away team should win 58% so then we check according to our filters if it's um, inside um, the criteria that we have already set like the odds and the percentages and it gives us okay pick the away team to win with this um, odd um, okay so this will be one pick then we have from the Turkey Super League Galania Spor again Arizaspor the home team to win 84% 165 um, and you can see uh, Alanya Spor again is a much better team it's like the top class team of the league while the other one is like an average team um, and it seems that it concedes a lot of goals so goals against for the um, away team it's one of the, the worst teams in the league um, then we have from the Germany Bundesliga 1 Augsburg against Wolfsburg uh, the away team to win 55% this is at the limit but uh, for us it's okay we have the 65% that we won then from the Germany uh, Bundesliga 1 again at half past 3 we have Freiburg against Dortmund the away team to win 61% uh, from the English Championship, Bournemouth against Birmingham, the home team to win, 63%. Then from the English League One, Accrington against Northampton, uh, 83%. This is a very good pick for Accrington to win. And why is that? You can see over here that okay, Accrington is a much better team. Yes. Uh, then from the English League One again, Barton against Hull, Hull to win, 78%. Then Portsmouth at 4 o'clock against Plymouth, Portsmouth to win. Uh, 4 o'clock again we have Rochdale against Charlton, Charlton to win, 57%. Newport against Grimsby, Newport to win, 83%. And then uh, at half past 4 we have um, from the, ne the Netherlands, Erste Divisie, Maastricht against Nijmegen. Uh, they are waiting to win, 62%. Um, at 6 o'clock from the Italian Serie A, we have Juventus against Roma. Uh, this is the classic derby. Um, Juventus, um, so far, gives us Juventus to win with 62%. Um, 171. Even the bookmakers think it's going to be an easy match, probably. Anyway, the Italian Serie A, we have Genoa against Napoli at 8.45. Napoli to win, 59%. Uh, at 9 o'clock from... Uh, England Premier League we have Manchester United against Everton so for gives us Manchester United to win and then from at nine o'clock from Spanish La Liga Sevilla against Getafe uh, the home team to win Sevilla 75% so those are the matches for today the football matches if you follow our page here um, you can see that I have already updated with the football matches so you can come in here and check it and uh, I will also add um, basketball matches, uh, hockey matches, whatever I get from the software it will be there. Uh, so how do I play those matches? I go and play doubles. This is what I believe my system um, works better and it fits to my system as I have proved in previous videos. Um, this is how uh, I approach betting. And this is what works for me. And I think it works for everybody if you follow uh, this simple scenario. Uh, so let's see a bit the basketball games over here. Um, the sixth. So you see over here that in the night we have we had some NBA matches. The software, um, okay, um, gave us two matches over here. Let's filter them out. Okay, for the NBA, we had Indiana Pacers against uh, New Orleans Pelicans. Uh, the home team was 80%, 181. 
but we lost by one point. And it was 80%, but let's see why the software gives us 80%. And because, um, okay, the home team was a much better team, according to the winning ratio. Um, Scoring-wise, uh, it was a much better team as well, 71 to 45. Um, and even their defense were better. So it seems that this was a much better team and it almost lost. I don't know if it was any injuries or whatever. But anyway, this is in our calculated probability, so it doesn't matter that much. Oklahoma City Thunders against Minnesota Timberwolves. Um, the home team to win 72%. This was also a loss by three points. So here we have two losses, but they were very, very close games. Um, anyway, uh, what other matches we had? At night was the NCAA. Over here. <clears throat> But we can analyze it some other time. So for today, um, I'm going to run the software again because right now it's too early to judge. So you can see over here that we're going to have NCAA at 6 o'clock. There are some matches. Uh, we don't have odds in all the matches yet. So we'll be able to judge with our filters. Uh, but there are at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock over here, as you can see, uh, 8 o'clock. There are so many matches today. Look. Anyway, uh, at around 5 o'clock, I will run the software again, and I will update the Excel with whatever is here. Um, and then, if we go to hockey, you can see, um, let's see, yesterday. <clears throat> uh, so we had at 1 o'clock two matches, Florida Panthers against Nashville. So Florida Panthers to win, 82%, it won 2-1. And then we had Vegas Golden Knights against Los Angeles Kings, the home team to win, it won again. So we had two out of two yesterday <clears throat> in NHL. Uh, we have like 10 or 12 games for each team. Uh, but... Um, um, it seems that it's working. So hockey for me, uh, up to now the last years, it's been the best uh, sport that I follow, the most successful. Then it's basketball and then it's football. But football has the most games every <clears throat> every day. Uh, anyway, um, we can prioritize probably first the hockey matches, then the um, basketball matches, and in the end the football matches. So if there are many matches in a day. Uh, depending on our success uh, rate. And um, for today, uh, at 7 o'clock, it seems that uh, it gives us a match, but I'm going to run it again because it's late, a little bit later. Um, okay, so we have two matches at 7 o'clock, two match three matches at 9 o'clock. Um, okay, so I'm going to run it again. I'm going to update the, um, um, the Google Sheet over there. Um, and uh, good luck for today. See you tomorrow with more picks, results, and uh, a bit more information about how all this works.